Hey everybody, welcome to the Teledyne's YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over the guitar riff for Mystery Train. One of the most iconic and recognizable rockabilly tunes, the riff for Mystery Train is unmistakable. There are two versions of the Mystery Train riff you tend to hear. One is the Elvis version, played by Scotty Moore, and the other one that I know of is the Brian Setzer version. The Scotty Moore version goes like this. And the Setzer version, like this. Now I like both of them, so when I play live I'll go back and forth. I usually start with the Scotty Moore version and then go into the Setzer version. We'll start off with the Scotty Moore version. Now I believe Scotty Moore played with a thumb pick, but I'll use a flat pick for this example since it's a little more common. So the riff is bouncing between E and A. Now for the Mystery Train lick, you probably want to palm mute this. So the first part is hitting the low E string with a pick. Then you want to pick with your fingers and you're using your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky finger. The middle finger is pulling the fourth string, the ring finger is pulling the third string, and the pinky is pulling the second string. And you're playing this over an open E chord shape. So you'll hit the low E with the pick, then the fingers. Then after that, switch to an A chord and hit the low E string again with the pick. Then you'll want to adjust your fingers down one string. So your middle finger is now picking the third string and your ring finger is picking the second string. Then you pluck the E note an octave higher on the fourth string with the pick. So together, it would sound like this. I'll play it slowly. And then once you get it up to speed, it sounds pretty cool. Now with the Setzer version, it almost sounds kind of backwards. For this example, I'll be using a flat pick tucked up into my index finger, and you'll want to keep the thumb going the whole time on the low E string. So with this, you'll be hammering on with an open E chord form, and then switching to an A, and back to a hammer on. It sounds really cool when you combine the two of them. Now I found the easiest way to learn this version was to separate between the thumb and the fingers. So you can just practice the thumb. And then just the fingers. And then eventually you start putting them together. So for the fingers, it's just a hammer on with an E. Open, hammer on, play an A, hammer on E again. Then when you bring it up to speed, So that's pretty much the gist of it. I'll play one more example where I'll jump between the Scotty Moore version and the Setzer version.
Thank you for watching the Teledyne's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out on the algorithm. And you can click that notification bell to be aware of when new videos drop. Right now, we're trying to reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you want to help the band or the channel, the best thing you can do is hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost a thing, and it means a whole lot to us. Thank you guys again, and we'll see you next time.